what's going on guys this is Sony 64 and I've got a nice little treat for you guys uh, this is my first blacklight retribution gameplay on my channel and, uh, yeah I, I guess I just want to show this game off I wouldn't say this game really runs well on my system it honestly has mostly to do with my processor dual core 2.0 gigahertz AMD processor and you know I honestly need to upgrade eventually because that would really help out with this game getting higher frame rates and stuff because I can turn the textures and everything all the way up but to be honest like it doesn't really do much for my system because like I'm still going to get the same FPS so I keep everything on low just to like because I don't want to stress my graphics card over like graphics that I can't even like make I can't make them look any prettier than they already are, you know. Um, with that said, I'll probably talk a little about the gameplay. This game is actually really fun for a free game. I know I get owned a lot, that is really skipping up my FPS, and the fact that I don't really play much. But I would play more if my friends would play this game more often. We're pretty busy with uh, Counter-Strike GO, uh, Global Offensive, so we don't really have time to play it. But I gotta say, if anybody's looking to play a Free to play game, like first person shooter. Uh, I want to say this game similar to Call of Duty, but it does have like uh, some aspects that does do set it aside from Call of Duty. For uh, one, there's the uh, HRV, which I'm probably going to bring up in a couple of seconds. This one, I call this the anti camping tool because you can basically look through walls and shoot people. The only um, downside to it is you can't shoot. And it obviously has a limit, as you can see at the bottom right corner. It once you use it, it uh, for however long you use it, the um, the meter goes down. You can see right there. And once you let it go, it starts going back up. But it has it obviously you can't use it until it goes all the way back up. And when it does, it gives you that little icon, the uh, HRV logo, which says, "Hey, you can use the HRV again." And it has these little stands right here that lets you get armor and health, and uh, usually like three different kinds of. Uh, I don't want to call them streaks. They're similar to score streaks in Black Ops 2 where uh, you kill people and you get money to get these weapons from the uh, the stands or I forget what they're called. The vendors. And for me, there's the uh, flamethrower, the rocket launcher, and the hard suit which I've yet to use which I tried to use in this game you, you'll see that later but yeah you get like three things that you can get off the the vendor but the only way to get it is to buy like getting kills and assists and you get uh, money or CP I guess you call it combat points and the more combat points you get the higher things that you can get obviously the hard suit costs the most because it's like this big mech that you can get into it gives you a lot of armor and you know, you can walk around just killing people with like two or three shots. It's it's pretty beast, but you got to know how to use it. You got to know how to watch your back, and that's another thing about this game that turns people off from it. You don't get a map necessarily. The map is the HRV, the thing that I brought up earlier, where you get to look through walls and stuff. It is essentially the map in this game, so you have to use it whenever you can if the server allows it. Obviously, there's some servers that allow you to turn off the HRV so that. You know, feel, the game feels more balanced, but at the same time, since you don't get a map, the HRV actually balances out the game because not only does it show you the map, like it, it shows you where people are on the map, which almost basically gives you a layout of the map. It also um, kill, helps you get rid of campers, which keeps this game. Um, it's, I guess, it sets this game aside because it just says, "Hey, we don't want no campers in our game, so we put this little tool in so that you can go around corners and kill the campers." Now there are some, uh, I don't want to say, I want to call them perks, but there are some things in the game that allow you to dodge the HRV, make you invisible to it. And uh, I, if you're wondering why the the uh, Steam overlay is cut off up there, it's because I'm playing full play in and the game doesn't really recognize it, or Steam doesn't really recognize it. I'm not playing exactly at 1280 plus anyone. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I believe right here I have enough, yeah, I have enough for a hard suit, and you're going to watch me fail trying to put the hard suit down, so just prepare. Don't laugh at me. I've never used a hard suit, and I thought it was as simple as that. It's like you just push a button and it comes up, but I don't, I don't know. I, it's weird. 
it's really weird. I don't. I'm, I'm guessing if you get an X, it says, or maybe not X is a plus, but if you get a plus, it's like you can't put it there or something. I don't know. I I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, other than that, like for a free-to-play game, this game is really nice. Obviously, you can tell that the uh, graphics are pretty high set for free to play One game so to you're probably going to need a good graphics card to run something like this I don't want to take a graphics card I want to say uh, medium to high range processor which is basically any dual core 2.8 to like 3. Point. I'd say dual core 3.0 to be safe dual core 3.0 processor and just any good graphics card honestly by good, I mean you probably spent maybe like 70, 60 to 70 dollars or more on your graphics card. But a graphics card like that, and you should be able to run this no problem with a dual core 3.0 processor. I mean, that's if you want to play this. That's that's what I'm recommending, of course. I'm not PC, but I ran this game on this computer, which is dual core 2.0 with a Radeon HD 6050, and this is my FPS, as you can probably tell. And I also ran it on my girlfriend's computer, which is a quad core 2.4 gigahertz processor and a GTX 650, which obviously is a it's a, a lower power graphic card and a, I don't want to say lower quality graphic card, but it can't do the same texture as my graphics card can do. But anyway, if you guys enjoy the gameplay, just let me know and I might upload some more. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.